हेलो फ्रेंड्स किशन इज हियर अगेन एंड वेलकम यू इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ माय प्रीवियस वीडियो देयर वी हैड स्टार्टेड डिस्कशन अबाउट द कमांड लाइन रनर एंड एप्लीकेशन रनर इंटरफेसेस एंड एज वी हैव सीन दिस टू इंटरफेसेस इज हैविंग अ मेथड इज कॉल्ड रन राइट बट इफ यू लुक इनटू द मेथड आर्गुमेंट सो मेथड आर्गुमेंट्स आर डिफरेंट राइट सो कमांड लाइन रनर एंड एज वेल एज एप्लीकेशन रनर right so these two interface contains a method is called run but in terms of method arguments both are different and uh, uh, basically these are the callback methods so if you can create a class uh, you can create a class uh, and that class may implement these interfaces right like command line run interface then in that case you will have to override its method and detect the text this text array of argument or where argument and this is basically when your application uh, spring boot application runs then here you, you have opportunity to pass a program argument and that argument will be uh, you can may use it, you may use it over here and you can pass same argument will be passed to the uh, uh, class which implements uh, command line runner so you can collect same over here and whatever want to do with these arguments you can do right so here basically just we are collecting these arguments and just we have used uh, stream api and joining every arguments with the comma and that's just we are printing on the console but in real scenario you may mm, collect over here and you can do some processing or whatever you want to do right uh, and uh, while running this application we were getting uh, we were facing some issue by s setting the program arguments right so you, go, you will have to go to the uh, this uh, main boot bootstrap class go to the run configuration and here Uh, basically you will have to select this class make sure that you have selected your bootstrap class and go to the arguments and here you can pass a lot of arguments right like when you run uh, any uh, application uh, right any program java program which contains the main method from command prompt then first you compile the java class right by writing the java c uh, class name dot java and after that you run the application by writing the java and class name and after a space you can specify a lot of uh, Uh, program argument right and that will be collected by the uh, main method itself so same over here right so now if i run this application uh, so here we have uh, this bootstrap class which is having a main method and here we have passed you have opportunity to pass this uh, program arguments and same will be passed if any any if in in your project if any bean implements this command line or run interface or application run interface and that contains the main method then here that program arguments you can cal collect right so if i run this application uh, and here in main class uh, we are just accessing a, a service class right here just we are you can see the return type of this guy so let me like let me let's make ctx something like this so this is a configurable application context object and we are calling get bin method and we are just passing the a class uh, service class which is annotated as address service and which is having a simple method right which returns the hello world and here just we are passing this class and we get the instance of this class and we are calling its method which returns us a string and that we are trying to print over here that's it right and when i run this application then here this class uh, by instances in, this class instantiation of this class will be taken care by the spring framework and this run method will be called automatically because this is a callback method and all program arguments which we are passing from main method that we are just printing here with comma separated now let's run this application and see we are getting the expected output or not so here if you look into the if you investigate the console then here you can see data 1 data 2 and data 3 we are getting with comma separated and we are getting the hello world message which is coming from the our bootstrap class right which is coming from here right and that comma separated value we are printing from here right so what we wanted that we have achieved right so that was the one of the example where uh, where we have seen how to how how we can make use of the uh, command line runner right command line runner now Uh, we'll create another project and there we'll see how to uh, make use of the application runner that is very much similar right so here let's create another project and here i'll i'll give the project name application 
runner or uh, or you can say a spring boot application runner demo right and uh, package name i'm going to leave com.infotech.app package uh, sorry group name and package name i'm going to leave as, as it is what we had used in our earlier project and uh, let's and everything keep as it is now click on the next and make sure that you have selected the latest version of spring boot and here i'm going to select dev uh, tools that's it nothing more now click on the next and click on the finish now this project is going to create in our workspace very soon now here is the project just we have created and most of the code we are just i'm going to copy from our previous example which we have created from scratch so i hope you would have watched my previous video tutorial if you didn't then go and watch here i'm going to copy most of the code from here so let's copy uh i mean all code which is available in our bootstrap class and paste it over here and this class of course you need to change okay and here you can see we are getting error for this service class so that also we have to copy from our previous example okay so let's copy this class with package name itself and dump in this src image java and here error has gone now let's create a class uh, let's create a uh, class which implements application runner so i would say application runner bean and this is going to implement application runner application runner this interface uh, let's click and finish okay now we'll have to override its run method it takes application arguments as an argument right sorry now here uh, we are going to uh, write the very similar code which we have written for the command line runner so here if we go here and here we can see so same code snippet just i'm copying from here and uh, i would paste in this class here i'm going to paste it over here but of course you'll get an error right because of this we don't have uh, directly we cannot pass a string text uh, uh, a string array but we are passing something else so we will have to call on this we will have to call uh, method i uh, will have to call get source and this will return you the you can see if you read a type of this a string of array right so very much similar to the uh, a string of var arc right and done we are almost done right and this class you will have to annotate. don't forget to annotate this class uh, with at the rate component or at the rate service but this is not a service class so i would uh, recommend you to annotate with at the rate component and that's it and uh, if i run this class uh, now here is our bootstrap class main class from there we are taking uh, program argument so you right click over here and uh, go to the option run as and here you have a run configuration so here you will have to go and uh, uh, here we have selected a previous class right this uh, previous class so we'll have to select this class i don't know why this guy is not coming uh, there is some issue with uh, we want to find this class application runner uh, sorry guys this class name i'm gonna rename it like uh, not a string but a spring a spring boot application runner demo something like this so now we have renamed this class now right click on this class uh, run uh, as uh, run configuration here uh, we'll have to class go to the spring boot and here uh, a spring boot application runner you will have to select uh, i think 
this is the class let me verify our main class so our main class name is sorry lot of files are uh, history so this is our bn and this is our main class so we'll have to select this class right click over here go to the run as run configuration and here in a spring boot uh, you can select your class a spring boot not command line but uh, a spring boot uh, or you can select this spring boot application runner day yes. a spring boot application runner demo and here after selecting this class uh, go to the arguments and here you can pass uh, like a r uh, I, I would say argument mm. argument one argument two argument three similarly you can pass and apply and let's run now you can see in console you can verify we get the all three arguments and uh, hello world is getting printed by from our bootstrap class from here and uh, uh, this class is also getting invoked and because of that we are getting all uh, arguments which we have passed as a program arguments uh, from our bootstrap class which is getting collected and getting printed uh, by separated by the comma so this is running perfectly fine right so i hope you understood how to work with the application runner and uh, uh, another interface is called command line runner in next video we will define uh, 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 more than one bin uh, which will implement uh, application runner as well as uh, command line runner and how we can maintain the order of execution of this uh, spring bins that we are going to look into so thanks for watching this video and this code uh, previous uh, previous code as well as this code i'm going to put on the github and github location you'll get in the video description itself so thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial